Sorry to have stopped. Who are you, please? I'm Harry's brother. You're younger than I expected. You live just in this one room. Are you fond of Harry? I'd die for him. Well, I'm here today to see what you can do to help save him. You can save him? Without Harry, I'm quite alone. What about your friends? Your acquaintances? No. Since I met your brother, I say no one, sir. Do you mean that? Yes, I love him. Nobody's been here but him for a long time now. For how long? Five months. So you've not been out sir, since please, you've been with Harry? Sir, don't take him away from me altogether. I'll be so careful. I'll not let anything hurt him. But, but if I can't see him sometimes... So die, please don't take him away from me. You drifted together, and you'll drift apart. Far better for him to make a clean cut of it now. May I not love because I've been bad? I was only 16 when that man spoiled me. If you knew... I'm not thinking of you, I'm thinking of Harry. He's got a chance to regain his reputation, and you may wreck it. And for what? A few months more of, well, you know. He's my life. Don't take him away from me. You must know what Harry is. I'll never stick with you. He will, sir. Last man on earth to stick with anything. But for the sake of a whim, he'll risk his life and the honour of his family. Oh, I know Harry all right. He loves me. He loves me. If I gave you money, say 500 pounds, would you disappear for his sake? Come now. After a few months and a change of scenery, you'll have forgotten you even met. Oh, if Harry says I must, but not to live. I couldn't live without Harry. What's left for a girl like me when she once has loved? It's finished. <laughs>